Hello guys and welcome back to another Toy Command video. So in this video we're going to be looking at some mains filters. So um, this filter here, it's not really a filter as such that one, it's called a Super Camp Ultra. And what it does is it clamps the electricity. Um, now this one is a filter. Okay, so what I've done is that I've taken these apart so you can see what's inside these because some of you that might own these products or own similar products to them would love to see what's inside them, but they're all they're all sealed. So what I've done is I've undone them. Um that they're, they're not they're not repairable, although I've removed the insides of one of them so you can see what's what, what it's made of. And um and in effect, I've done this because I want to show you how much money is made in, in uh, audio accessories again. And that's the whole reason why I run this channel, to save people money. I know I get people that still call me snake oil, which is fine. But I really do. I ran an audio business for a while. I realise how much money is made in audio accessories. And you can buy an amplifier for the price of uh, one of these filters. So uh, you can see how much money is made in accessories. Now accessories tend to be slightly smaller companies that are producing these things, so they're generally done on on a, a, a you know on a small amount more than what amplifiers are done. And a lot of these are not always made in China um, or Japan. They're made in this country or in America, in the United States. So that that's why. They charge, uh, they're low production, that's the words I wanted to say to you. So anything low production is going to be more money than uh, than mass production stuff. So uh, without me waffling on any more, let's remove the covers of these and show you what's underneath them. So in the, uh, the first one we're looking at here, the Russ Andrews Super Clamp Ultra, what you get in here is a couple of suppressors and some diodes. So, um, so let's take that off. So I've marked these so you can see. To the left there is the live and to the right is the neutral. Okay. Uh, and underneath you can see you've got an earth. So on, on the neutral, the neutral is being crossed over to the live. And then it's going to be crossed over into the earth. And then it's going being crossed over back to the neutral again. So um, this is quite expensive for one of these. Uh, but I would say this works really well. I don't want to slag it off or, or say it's rubbish because it isn't. But it's still quite expensive for what it is. And the whole reason why I'm showing you these is I'm going to start producing some of these and showing you how to make these yourself. Because uh, they are simple. Now... With this Russ Andrews one, what he does is you can see the diodes there. There's nothing written on those. And when you look really closely at them, you can see they've been rubbed off with a bit of sandpaper. Um, just so the, he's rubbed off the uh, the values of them. So all I've got to do is test them, and which I haven't done yet. Work out what values they are. And then I can show you in the future, in, in, in the coming months, how to produce one of these. Now this next one is an electro clear um, filter. So this one's a clamp and this one's a filter. Now, if you saw the video I've done on the uh, Russ Andrews uh, Ultra Purifier block, <clears throat> there was a little circuit board in the corner. I'll put a link to the video up, up at the end of the uh, this video. And this is exactly what was in the corner. So this is an electro clear by Quantum Products. Okay, so this is a, this is slightly more complicated. So it looks like we've got like a, um, a couple of capacitors on there and a few little bits and bobs and that, and uh, a microprocessor. It looks like that one there. It looks like a spider, um, and then some uh, di there's some diodes in there and a few other bits and pieces. So uh, that's that. Um, this one is also a very good product. Um, it's not rubbish at all, but it's still quite expensive for what it is. 
so I want to try to uh, bring you these in future videos and show you how to produce them yourself now you can buy these uh, these uh, power pack uh, in what's the words in a uh, well an empty one so we can fit the circuit boards in and and that's that so I'm going to show you another filter here that I used to get made for me by a company when I ran my audio business so I'll show you that one now so this is the one here that I used to have made for me so we've got a quite a big suppressor at the front here um, I can't remember what that piece there is now you can't see it in this light the bit connected to it um, that's some sort of diode I think as well and then, and then we've got another suppressor in there and, and, and a few other piece bits and pieces at the back here I was really up on this at the time and now I can't remember brains going as I get older so um, this this worked really well and I used to sell these and I also used to put these these in my uh, mains extension cords as well a bit like the the hub that I'm making at the moment I used to produce one similar to that uh, and it worked really well on that and I, and I was going to fit this in my one at the, uh, the, the, the very similar to this but I'm sort of thinking about it and and it comes back to the reason I'm thinking about that is because the the Russ Andrews ultra pure fire block that I uh, showed you before the reason why I didn't have a uh, a big filter in there is because it was used with a balanced mains unit now <clears throat> with a balanced mains unit I mean that balanced mains unit superb you don't have to get that particular make uh, but the balanced mains unit is really really good it's uh it lowers the noise floor totally you've got nothing i mean it, it's so quiet it's unbelievable unbelievable um it really is good and um really with, with a balanced mains unit you shouldn't put too much filtration in really so um anyway so uh that was the that, that's the uh the filter i used to produce and then we've got another one that I used in my uh, my silencer plugs there, which was this, which is a Delta filter. Now, this this literally came from Maplins. Do you remember Maplins? It used to be a, a shop in the UK. It went bust a, quite a few years ago now. Uh, it's still online, I think, but they don't they don't sell anything like this anymore. And this company, I, I'm trying to locate these still. Now I've found the company. And I just need to give them a call. Uh, and, and I used to use this with a very large suppressor as well. And I used these in my extension cords, the, the, the lesser quality ones. But it still works extremely well. And, um, yeah, so um, so I was, I, you know, I, I researched all these. And I had a guy that worked with me. He didn't work for me, he worked with me. I used to pop over to see him and he would uh, tell me what bits go with what and what would work really well on it so that's that so I, can, I, I think you can see the amount of profits that are made in these products I mean for instance this this one here the super clamp <coughs> you can buy the casing for around about five pounds and all the bits inside it are peanuts so the suppressors there are probably 150 each and the diodes are 75 pence. I know these companies have to make money. They have to make money because they've got overheads and uh, they've got employees and I haven't got a problem with that. When I was running the, the audio business, I had to make money as well. I had to, uh, you know, I had to put percentages on stuff that was mad. But you have to because it's low production, you see. But um, you guys are really lucky because I'm going to be showing you how to produce these products for uh, peanuts. And you, I mean, uh, really, if you watch this channel, one fundamental thing you should ha you should own is a soldering iron, right? Soldering iron, and I only use silver solder. And you will need a, a, a very good uh, <clears throat> uh, magnifying glass, uh, possibly one of those ones you can screw to the bench and hone in on stuff. Because uh, that really helps, um, especially if you're losing your sight like me. <laughs> but um, 
so fundamentally if you've got if you've got the uh, soldering iron which possibly would i mean you can spend silly money on soldering irons or you can buy one for 25 pound that works extremely well and i go through loads of them because they tend to not last too long and when i ran my audio business i had a very expensive one that, that i paid about 300 for and it just didn't last it, it packed up after what about two years and then i had to purchase another one then after that i just started purchasing these ones for 25 pound and they last me a couple of years and then i have to buy another one and the tips go regularly on them so you have to change the tips so if you're soldering small things you need a small tip so um at the moment i'm still thinking about the filter that goes into my mains hub thinking because it's going with the balanced main junior i'm not going to go nuts on it and uh, make some really high powered filter for it so um I'm still thinking about that at the moment, so I haven't brought that to you at the moment. So I think that's about it for this video. So I hope you like this. Um, this saves you undoing one of your plugs because most of these uh, have got screws in them. They're either security screws or they're, uh, they've all been glued in with uh, hot milk glue. And then when you try to get them out, it's difficult. So I've managed to get these ones apart just to show you what's inside. So... Okay, thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. And thank you for watching, guys.